Learning objectives include structure and function of cell membrane. As you can see here, the cell membrane is consists of bilipid phospholipid bilayer, phospholipid bilayer. This is one layer and this is another layer uh, of phospholipid molecules. They are arranged in a particular order, making this as a bilayer. And because these are lipophilic, they're lipid uh, in nature. And lipid molecules, they are not like water. And remember that outside this, this, this membrane is water here. Inside, which is the cytoplasm, water is here. So these phospholipid molecules, they have a lipid tail and a phosphorus uh, or phosphate group, which is a polar, has a charge on it, and that interacts with the water inside the cytoplasm and also outside the cytoplasm. Then you can see there are various other proteins that are inserted into the uh, cell membrane or plasma membrane. Uh, some act as channels for various nutrients, like uh, this is a protein channel. Some proteins that you see inserted into the plasma membrane has some other uh, components like carbohydrates, side chains on them. And these can act as receptors for various molecules. Cell membrane basically is a, a kind of semi-permeable barrier or selective permeable barrier. It allows certain substances to go through or pass through, but others, uh, it does not allow them to go through. So it's a selective barrier. There are two kinds of movements that we see in the cell membrane. One is passive, where there is no energy required, and then there is an active transport where energy is required. It, is also, it also performs many other functions. Respiration is one of them. Photosynthesis is another function performed by the cell membrane. Lipid synthesis also occurs in bacteria in the cell membrane. Cell wall components or parts are made in the cell membrane and then secreted onto the outside of the cell membrane. And as we saw uh, that gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria, they have cell walls. And cell membrane also have lots of receptors like this here. Here in this slide, you can see phospholipid bilayer. Uh, these are the molecules of phospholipid. As you can see, that they have two parts. The this is the head and this is the tail. The tail is hydrophobic. Hydrophobic means that it hates water. It loves fat. On the other side, the heads, they like water and they're, they're called hydrophilic in nature. So keeping in view the properties of these uh, molecules, hydrophobic tails would be close to the hydrophobic tails of another layer. So because these molecules, on one side, they can interact with the water, right? Because outside the cell membrane or outside the cell, the, there is water. Inside the cell membrane, in the cytoplasm, there is water. So these molecules orient themselves in a way that head is towards the water and tails are away from the water. And that is the reason these phospholipid molecules would always be, be found in two layers. So this is their stability issue, their integrity issue. So because of this property, they always associate themselves into two layers. And that is a common component of all the cell membrane that we see. Such molecules that have hydrophilic as well as hydrophobic properties are called amphipathic molecules. There are two kinds of uh, proteins that are inserted into the cell membrane. As you can see here, this protein is called peripheral proteins. It's at the periphery of this cell membrane, so peripheral. And this is integral. It is present within the cell membrane. Peripheral proteins are loosely connected to the membrane, like here. And they are also soluble in water. That means that they can interact with the water. Integral proteins, on the other hand, they are embedded because anything that needs to be embedded in the cell membrane, please note that it has to be hydrophobic, much like these tails. Otherwise, it would not be able to stay there. That is the reason that this part of the protein here, integral proteins, 
and they are hydrophobic because these tails are hydrophobic as well. And of course, anything that is hydrophobic would not like water, so they are insoluble in water. Of course, these proteins, part of them is inserted into the cell membrane, which is hydrophobic, but because they go all the way across the membrane, so some part has to have hydrophilic properties as well. So integral proteins inherently have these two properties, that they are hydrophobic as well as hydrophilic, part of it, part of them. So they are amphipathic in nature too. And some can act as receptor. As you can see, there's, there, they could be modified by other components like uh, carbohydrates in them. Uh, so these are called glycoproteins. Many of them are uh, known as receptors. So they, they can bind different ligands, dif different chemicals. And then these proteins, these receptors bind different ligands there out through them. That ligand which is in the outer uh, atmosphere, like uh, outer of the cell membrane, it then conveys its message to the inside. And that is what we study in the cells, a signal transduction. So how does a cell know that there is a something uh, nutrient or some something that the cell can utilize? That is through the receptors. They can sense those nutrients. And then the signal goes inside the cell and enzymes which is needed to utilize that protein or carbohydrate or lipid is then released into through this membrane into the surrounding of the cells and then that proteins or nutrient is taken in. So these membranes are very important. They play a very important function. It is also uh, to be noted that integral proteins, these integral proteins, they are not static in their position. What does it mean? It means that if you visualize the cell membrane under the uh, electron microscope or under a uh, conditions that the cell is still alive, you would see that this membrane right now is at this point, but very next moment it would slide laterally either to this side or to this side. So the position is fluid in nature. So cell membrane, what we call is a fluid mosaic model. That means that the, the cell membrane is not a very, very hard structure. It is like a fluid uh, in nature. So all the integral proteins that are there and other proteins and other molecules that are in the so they keep swimming uh, within the membrane. It would be more clear to you when you would see the, there's a video clip that I'm going to show you. Let's watch that. So this video clip was taken from YouTube. Of course, all these video clips are from YouTube. As you can see here, this is a cell membrane, and anything that perturbs it, it can break these molecules, but after a while, they regain their structure, their shape. So you can see that the membrane is basically moving. The molecules, they're not static, they're moving. And now you see these, uh, these protein molecules there that are embedded in here. This is another integral protein. And as you can see, um, the membrane is moving. Now, these, these, these various uh, uh, proteins, they make channels for movement of ions and different molecules, as, as you saw. Here, this is a, a protein molecule inserted through the membrane as we can see from the above here, that they are moving um, laterally from their positions. As I mentioned that cell membrane performs many functions. Photosynthesis uh, by cell membrane is another function. The components that are present uh, in the cell membrane, they are called chromatophores or thylakoids in plants or like uh, other protista. Cell membrane, like cell wall, could be destroyed by chemicals. Um, if you use alcohol, which is normally used in uh, sanitizers, hand sanitizers or uh, antiseptics, it disrupts the cell membrane. And if the, the cell membrane of uh, a cell is broken, the cell is gone. 
Similarly, this is another chemical, quaternary ammonium compound, which is also used as an antiseptic. Uh, it also breaks the cell membrane. And polymyxin is an antibiotic or antibacterial, uh, which uh, disrupts the cell membrane. And once the membrane is gone, the bacteria or the cell is gone too. So in summary, uh, phospholipid layer uh, is arranged into two uh, uh, Phospholipid molecules is arranged into two layers. Uh, this membrane is a selectively permeable. It allows certain substances to go through them, through uh, the membrane, and others it, it does not allow. And there are integral proteins that are present in the cell membrane. They act as channels, and they also act as receptors. And there are peripheral proteins also that uh, are part of the uh, receptors and channels, and cell membrane perform many functions like uh, photosynthesis, respiration, etc., um, etc. Et 